a terrifying iron bull but also becomes food for humans. Join us as we explore how farmers raise and process a million crocodiles. First, let's delve into how these reptiles thrive in the fearsome marshlands. Florida harbors the largest population of wild crocodiles in the United States, with two notorious predators, the American alligator and the goggle-eyed crocodile. The American alligator boasts impressive sizes, averaging around 4.3 meters in length and weighing up to 450 kilograms. This species dominates freshwater areas across the states. Smaller yet equally ferocious, the goggle-eyed crocodile typically reaches about 3 meters in length and weighs 135 kilograms. They favor brackish and saltwater environments along the southern coastline of Florida and the Keys. Crocodile hunting season in Florida spans from August to November each year, coinciding with their peak activity post-breeding season. To participate in this competition, hunters first need appropriate permits or credentials. Permit issuance is tightly controlled by the authorities to ensure ecological balance and sustain crocodile populations at a sustainable level. Do you have the courage to challenge yourself? Leave a number one if you dare feed the crocodile like this. Every day during the hunting season, Thousands of Florida hunters embark on a thrilling journey on the waterways. Their target, the giant alligator, the sought-after prey in the state's suspenseful 11-week competition. What makes this hunt unique is its nocturnal nature, conducted aboard small boats. Pinpoint lights shine down onto the water's surface scanning for glowing red eyes, a telltale sign of a lurking crocodile. Alligator hunting is a perilous yet thrilling activity that demands skill and courage. Alligators are carnivorous creatures and prey on various animals, including fish, poultry, and mammals. Among the hunting methods, baiting to lure prey with food is a popular choice. When a large alligator takes the bait, the real battle begins. To emerge victorious in this battle, anglers must employ skill and strategic tactics. They need to maintain a steady hand and coordinate seamlessly with teammates to control the fierce alligator. 
Thus, skill, concentration, and caution are crucial factors throughout the hunting process. After the hunting process, the captured crocodiles are transported from the marshlands to the meat market for consumption. Not only hunting, but crocodile farming has also become increasingly prevalent worldwide. According to statistics, in 2023, the global crocodile farming industry reached a value of over 5 billion US dollars, with further growth projected in the coming years. However, overfishing is a serious issue affecting many wild species, including crocodiles. Hand skinning techniques are no longer unfamiliar. With just a sharp knife, Skilled craftsmen can delicately separate the crocodile's skin. Have you ever been curious about the inner workings of a crocodile meat processing plant? Alligators are hoisted up on racks. Workers use specialized knives to skin them quickly and efficiently. Then the meat is separated, sorted, and processed according to different procedures. Have you ever experienced the unique flavor of crocodile meat? Crocodile meat can be prepared in various ways, including grilling and pan frying. It's a lean meat, high in protein and low in fat. It's also a good source of vitamins and minerals, including selenium, zinc, and vitamin B12. Surely, you'll want to own a classy fashion item made from crocodile leather by the end of this video. Crocodile leather is widely used to create high-end fashion products such as handbags, wallets, belts, shoes, and other accessories. With its unique grain and durability, crocodile leather brings a luxurious and distinctive style to these products. You've certainly never seen a python skin processing factory as sophisticated as this. Instead of using small, sharp knives, python skinning craftsmen use specialized knives designed specifically for this purpose. 
Careful handling is required to avoid tearing the leather, as damage will reduce its value. The python skin industry brings huge profits to people. Python skins are sold at high prices on the international market, creating a large source of income for python farmers. Raising pythons for skin is also an effective economic model, with low cost and quick profits. Python skin is extremely rare, expensive, and requires a lot of effort to care for and produce. One of the reasons why python skin is popular as a fashion accessory is because it's very durable and sturdy. It can withstand a lot of wear and tear, which is perfect for those who want to use their accessories every day. I heard that the most expensive handbag made from python skin can cost up to 200,000 US dollars. This is proof of the special value of this type of leather in the fashion industry. If you don't watch this video, I'm sure you'll never believe that python skin can create expensive products like this. Have you ever used products made from python fat? Python fat contains large amounts of collagen, bringing beauty benefits to women. Using products containing these ingredients will help make your skin smooth, youthful, and full of vitality. For this reason, many cosmetics containing python-derived ingredients have been developed to rejuvenate women's health and beauty. To understand better, let's explore python farming with me. Have you ever witnessed the birth process of pythons? If not, this is something you shouldn't miss. After reproduction, fostering snake growth requires attention to conditions such as temperature and humidity. Therefore, the enclosure design needs to ensure coolness in the summer and warmth in the winter, as this reptilian species can perish when it's excessively hot or cold. Farmers will provide diverse and balanced diets and ensure they have enough clean drinking water. Did you know that in addition to crocodile and python skin, there's also another type of animal skin that can also be used to make million dollar handbags? Let's find out this right here. As you may know, ostrich leather is known for its exceptional durability. It is extremely sturdy and naturally water resistant, 
allowing products made from ostrich leather to withstand the test of time and harsh conditions. With its natural beauty, strength, and versatility, ostrich leather has become a popular and valuable choice in the world of fashion and interior decoration. Its use in various products has gained considerable popularity. Its texture and unique appearance add a touch of elegance and luxury to any design. Have you ever heard of the renowned handmade bag manufacturer Hormiga? It's one of the leading brands in crafting high quality emu leather bags. The prices of emu leather bags can range from a few hundred to tens of thousands of dollars per piece. The process begins with carefully selecting the finest emu hides, ensuring they're of high quality and free from defects. Next, the hides are treated and cleaned, removing any dirt or impurities. Their production process is carried out by skilled artisans and utilizes advanced technology, resulting in superior and unique products. The next step is the emu leather processing, where expert craftsmen cut and sew the hides into precise pieces. Not only emu leather, but also emu feathers are delicately produced and of high quality in the Klein Karoo region, located in South Africa. Established in the early 1800s, this facility has become one of the leading centers of the global emu feather industry. Here, you'll find unique feather creations such as boas, dresses, hats, and jewelry. To gain a deeper understanding, let's explore an emu farming facility together. Did you know? The giant bird, emu, has roamed the earth for over 100 million years. The emu is also the fastest bird on land, capable of running at speeds of up to 72 kilometers an hour. With their remarkable speed and gliding ability, how do farmers manage to train and raise them with ease? Emus are diverse, with many different species, mainly distributed in Central and East Africa, each species having minor differences in color and size. Overall, they are all remarkable inhabitants of the natural world, capturing the attention of researchers and nature enthusiasts with their beauty and unique characteristics.
to have a high quality emu farm. Selecting the right breed is crucial. We need to choose breeds that are healthy, adaptable and free from defects with a body weight ranging from 0.8 to 1 kilogram per chick. By applying breeding techniques, breeders can optimize emu breeding. Emus can lay 10 to 20 eggs in their first year. To maximize productivity in ostrich farm management, farm owners have set up an efficient incubation environment to hatch healthy chicks. After about 36 to 45 days of incubation, the giant eggs will hatch into healthy ostrich chicks bringing hope for a new generation of potential ostriches. After being raised in enclosed pens, they'll be transferred to larger farms where emus can roam freely, run, jump, and develop physically. Emus are omnivores. To ensure a balanced and nutritious diet for healthy growth, food for young emus includes grains, vegetables, grass, and even gravel and stones to aid digestion. Do you know that an emu only needs to be raised for about 10 months before it can be sold, weighing between 100 to 110 kilograms each? Therefore, the meat production capacity of emus is much higher than that of buffaloes and cows. Before embarking on the impressive journey to explore emu meat processing and handling facilities, let's marvel at a priceless nutritional treasure hidden within giant emu eggs. Emu eggs contain numerous highly nutritious components rich in protein, supporting muscle development and enhancing immunity. Would you like to own magnificent artwork made from these eggshells? Here, artisans with skilled hands and extraordinary creativity have transformed giant emu eggs into unique and stunning pieces of art on the surface of the eggshells. Looking at these artworks, one cannot help but appreciate the exquisite detail and lifelike realism that attracts attention from around the world. Let's explore emu processing and handling facilities. At these establishments, animal processing procedures are always carried out humanely and with respect, ensuring no harm or distress is caused to the emus.
Emu meat, the ingredient for unique dishes. Adding diversity and excellent flavor to your culinary menu. Not only satisfying the palate with its deliciousness, emu meat dishes also provide numerous nutritional benefits. Have you ever used products made from deer? Do you know where the world's largest paradise for deer hides is? New Zealand is the home to giant red deer herds, with over 1.2 million deer raised on 3,000 vast farms. With ample grazing areas spread across the vast landscape, it creates a completely natural farming environment. At deer farms, herds are cared for and nurtured through natural, free-range grazing on vast grasslands. However, to ensure the healthy growth of the deer and highest quality hides, farmers still supplement their diet with grains. On average, a deer can yield between 100 to 300 kilograms of hide, but this depends on the species and its size. When the hide reaches the desired size and quality, it'll be harvested. To ensure safety for both the deer and the handlers, the deer will be gently restrained or anesthetized during the harvesting process. Next, the deer hide is processed, boiled and dried to remove some fluids and impurities. Then the deer hide is dried using modern drying methods, which help shorten the drying time and ensure the deer hide reaches its best quality. After harvesting, deer hide is sliced into thin sheets, approximately half a millimeter thick. Subsequently, the hides are carefully dried once again to ensure quality. Finally, they're boxed and labeled with complete information before being delivered to customers. In the heart of Asia, a tradition spanning thousands of years in frog farming, harvesting, and processing has shaped a unique and fascinating narrative within the industry. Did you know that Vietnam is considered one of the leading countries in frog exports worldwide? With its diverse agricultural economy and a variety of natural conditions, Frog farming has become a notable industry, providing stable income for many households and farming communities. Starting a frog farm is actually a great idea. Do you know why I say that? For only 10 cents, you can own a frog. That means if you want to start a frog farm, you only need to invest about 80 US dollars initially. 
Now isn't that amazing? Please comment number one if you want to own a frog farm. Male frogs are injected with a medication to expedite the mating process. Afterwards, they're released into separate tanks previously prepared. The mating process of frogs typically commences when male frogs emit distinct calls or vocalizations to attract female frogs. When a female frog is enticed, it approaches the male frog and they mate, with the male embracing the female from behind. In this position, the male frog releases sperm to fertilize the eggs as the female lays them. Each time, they can lay anywhere from a few dozen to several thousand eggs, depending on the specific species. After laying eggs, the female protects them with a gelatinous layer to keep them moist and safeguarded. On average, it takes about one to three weeks for frog eggs to hatch into tadpoles. As they mature, they undergo a process of metamorphosis, transitioning to where they develop lungs, lose their tails, and grow legs. At this stage, they've developed both lungs and limbs, but are still smaller and less developed than adult frogs. Farmers often separate young frogs into different tanks or pens as part of the frog farming process. Do you know why they do this? This separation serves several purposes, such as managing frog growth, monitoring health, preventing overcrowding, and providing optimal conditions for their development. People clean the tank walls, surfaces, and other equipment to prevent algae and bacterial buildup. Commercial frog feed typically utilizes high-quality ingredients to ensure optimal nutrition. These components may include fish meal, soybean meal, various grains, vitamins, minerals, and other essential additives for the frog's health and development. The feed pellets are designed to float on the water surface, allowing both female and male frogs easy access. The frequency and quantity of feeding depend on the frog species, age, and developmental stage. The frog harvesting process is a professional and meticulous task undertaken by dedicated farmers. When the frogs reach the desired size or developmental stage, the farmers carefully catch them by placing them in mesh bags. Each bag is designed to hold around 15 to 20 kilograms of frogs.
I really don't understand why many people find this dish disgusting. Perhaps they haven't had the chance to taste it. Trust me, if you try this delicious frog just once, you'll definitely change your mind. The processing of frog legs is carried out meticulously and meticulously. Frog finished products are washed and soaked in a cold water tank with a temperature less than or equal to 7 degrees Celsius to remove all remaining blood on the frog finished products. Workers trim the frog finished products with scissors, removing remaining skin, internal organs, and external blood stains. The baskets are then transferred to the IQF freezing line, where workers arrange the finished products sparsely and reasonably on the line. The temperature of the finished products after freezing must reach less than or equal to minus 18 degrees Celsius. They can then be packaged and sent to the market. Let's continue our journey to another unique farm. Have you ever imagined yourself becoming a snail farmer? Join us in France to see how they raise these fascinating creatures. Join us on a journey to France to discover how they nurture snails. Snails typically lay eggs at night on moist soil provided by the farm. Each clutch will contain approximately 10 to 100 eggs. The eggs are then harvested and transferred to small boxes to be taken to the incubation area. These eggs are very delicate and prone to damage, so you need to handle them gently and carefully to avoid breaking the shells, which could affect the baby snails when they hatch. After about two to three weeks old, all the baby snails will begin to hatch. At this stage, each snail farming area is enclosed with a fence. The breeding snails are then evenly distributed among the cultivation areas. Once they've acclimated to their living environment, these snails will primarily feed on green vegetables. Providing supplementary wooden boards becomes crucial for their care. These boards serve as safe shelters and help retain moisture, creating the ideal humid environment for the snails. Supplying additional wooden boards is essential for proper snail care. These boards not only offer secure hiding spots, but also help maintain moisture levels, fostering an optimal human environment for the snails. Once snails reach a size of three to five centimeters, they are ready for harvesting. In outdoor farms, harvesting is a straightforward process, just involves flipping over the wooden boards. 
On average, small farms can harvest between 220 to 440 pounds of snails per day. Recorded data shows that large snail farms can achieve up to 2.24 tons of snails daily, a remarkable yield. The price of snails varies from $1,000 to $44,000, depending on their size and quality. This is one of the most exquisite delicacies in the culinary world. Salted white or pearl caviar is made from the row of snails. It takes 26,000 eggs to produce one kilogram of white caviar. Let's kickstart today with the Interlink Bat Wing Mist Sprayers, a unique blend of advanced technology and exceptional performance in creating an ideal environment for crops and landscapes. Featuring a bat wing design, these sprayers offer multi-directional misting with wide coverage, producing a fine, cool mist that blankets a large area. With flexibility and user-friendliness, the Interlink Batwing Mist Sprayers are crucial tools for establishing and maintaining an optimal environment for plants and scenery. The ability to adjust spray pressure and water flow optimizes water supply and moisture for plants, especially during dry and tropical periods. Next, we will explore a highly unique machine, the Spot 55. This is a Soviet-style tank converted for firefighting purposes. With a dual water tank system, the Spot 55 boasts a large capacity of 11,000 liters, ensuring an ample water reserve for firefighting efforts. Three water cannons are strategically placed for optimal precision and range in firefighting activities. The standout features of the Spot 55 are not limited there. The ability to store foam and extinguishing powder enhances its firefighting effectiveness in various situations. What's even more interesting is that this impressive machine was produced in the former Czechoslovakia, a total of 32 units. This unique history underscores the innovation in repurposing military equipment for better purposes. Are you looking to safeguard your livestock from external threats? The breaker style machine offers superior capabilities in driving fence posts and tensioning wire using hydraulic equipment. Its breaker design enables quick and efficient cutting and driving of posts. Notably, the integrated hydraulic wire tensioner ensures tight and uniform wire tension providing stability and safety for fence installations, animal pens, and other applications. This tool not only saves time, but also delivers impressive performance in constructing fencing structures and protective systems. Its robust and flexible design facilitates easy operation across various terrains and working conditions. The DSEC track layer by Techni Keral is a modern and groundbreaking machine in the construction and transportation industry.
Designed with a focus on performance and durability, the DSEC track layer possesses the ability to work vigorously in challenging terrains. With its robust track system, this impressive machine demonstrates flexibility in transporting and maneuvering across various landscapes such as soil, sand, gravel, and even rough terrains. This enables the machine to tackle the demanding challenges of large-scale construction and transportation projects. Equipped with a powerful engine, it ensures the delivery of impressive strength and performance, allowing the DSEC track layer to handle heavy loads and difficult tasks with ease. Additionally, the intelligent control system and user-friendly interface optimize the operational process and minimize downtime. Equipped with a high-performance engine, the Volvo Man Dump Truck boasts exceptional heavy load carrying capacity, effortlessly handling immense weights across various types of terrains. Its robust design and meticulously engineered components ensure optimal durability and longevity, making it a reliable partner for challenging construction and transportation projects. The spacious and modern cabin is equipped with convenient utilities and intelligent controls, providing a comfortable and efficient working environment for drivers. An advanced safety system enhances the overall driving experience, ensuring both driver and cargo are well protected. The Palenque machine represents the perfect combination of technological innovation and optimal performance, bringing significant improvements to the grape farming and processing industries. Since 1973, the group has continuously shaped the grape and wine industry by providing innovative and efficient solutions. With a mission to optimize production quality, Palenque has created intelligent and versatile machines, from grape harvesters to juicers and processing equipment. These products not only improve work efficiency, but also reduce labor and streamline production processes. Let's try to guess the names of the machines we're about to introduce to you right now. Tulip bulb harvesting equipment has marked a significant advancement in the field of flower cultivation and garden care. These specialized tools are designed to efficiently harvest tulip bulbs, optimizing the process and minimizing labor efforts. These devices are often equipped with precise fan blades or cutting tables, gently and effectively separating the bulb from the soil. After harvesting, the bulbs can automatically detach from the plant and be directed to the transportation system, saving time and energy for gardeners. The combination of advanced technology and intelligent design and tulip bulb harvesting equipment has contributed to increased productivity and efficiency in the flower cultivation industry. This is a clear example of how technology contributes to development and innovation in the field of agriculture and gardening. Take a look at this. 
Even dense foliage and tall woody grasses up to 40 millimeters long are no challenge for this machine. Its precision cutting design allows for easy removal of thick underbrush, weeds, and vegetation. Flexibility in adjusting height and cutting angle. The powerful engine enables it to navigate through hard to reach areas. This is an essential tool for efficiently and professionally managing vegetation and landscapes. There are many ways to apply liquid fertilizer, and this is one of the methods that help ensure your pasture receives the necessary nutrients. The notable combination of the Fent 939 Vario Agricultural Tractor and the Samson PG2 Tanker with a 36 meter boom has created an optimal solution for applying AD slurry fertilizer in agriculture. The powerful and precise Fent 939 Vario tractor plays a crucial role in maneuvering through the fields and accurately distributing the liquid AD. The Samson PG2 tanker with the extended boom efficiently disperses the liquid AD over a large area, optimizing nutrient utilization and minimizing environmental impact. This collaboration not only increases harvest yields, but also demonstrates the agricultural industry's commitment to sustainable development and responsible resource management. The Fent Vario 724 tractor is equipped with the advanced Dewport Liquilizer Liquid Fertilizer Injection System, representing a cutting-edge solution for precise liquid fertilizer application in modern agriculture. This strong combination of advanced tractor machinery and leading liquid fertilizer application method demonstrates the harmonious integration of advanced tractor technology and modern liquid fertilizer application techniques. The Fent Vario 724 tractor plays a pivotal role as the backbone of this efficient system, delivering robust performance and limitless control for various agricultural tasks. The Dewport Liquilizer Liquid Fertilizer Injection System, seamlessly integrated with the Fent Tractor, pioneers the field of liquid fertilizer application. Its meticulously designed integration allows for even and accurate distribution of liquid fertilizer directly into the soil. The spike wheel injector system minimizes the risk of leakage and nutrient waste, ensuring that each plant receives the necessary nutrients for optimal growth. Mink fur, with its luxurious beauty and softness, has become an indispensable part of the global fashion industry. From elegant ensembles on the catwalk to cozy fur coats for winter. Mink fur not only exudes sophistication, but also provides a warm and indulgent feeling to the wearer. The widespread popularity of mink fur has attracted attention from both the elite and ordinary consumers worldwide. Russia plays a crucial role in the global mink fur industry by providing high-quality mink fur from modern mink farms. Throughout the country, these farms are not only places for nurturing and caring for minks, but also hubs for the harvesting and processing of mink fur.
With its frigid climate and vast land, Russia provides favorable conditions for the development of the mink farming industry. Mink farms in Russia are often established on a large scale, utilizing modern technology and adhering to humane standards in the production process. As a result, Russia not only meets the high demand of the fashion industry, but also ensures that the production of mink fur takes place responsibly, safeguarding the health of the animals. This has helped Russia become one of the reputable and preferred sources of mink fur in the global market. Please leave number one if you want to learn with me about the process of raising mink. The process of mink farming begins with selecting suitable mink breeds. Farms typically choose breeds with good fur quality and high reproductive capabilities. Subsequently, carefully selected pairs of minks are crossbred to achieve the best combination of fur quality and reproductive traits. Male minks display courtship behaviors to attract and mate with female minks, often emitting loud calls and performing endearing actions to impress the females. The mating process typically occurs swiftly. After mating, male minks are often separated from female minks to prevent repeated mating attempts, which could potentially harm the females or disrupt their reproductive cycles. Providing nesting materials for mink dens is extremely important during the mating season when female minks prepare to give birth. Having enough nesting materials allows female minks to create a safe and comfortable space for the newborn mink kits after successful mating. The breeding season of minks typically occurs from late winter to early spring. On average, the gestation period lasts from 39 to 75 days. Minks will give birth to five to six offspring, and the females will care for them for about six weeks. Afterwards, they'll be separated and cared for in separate cages. Adult minks are kept in individual wire mesh cages, where they're raised under natural temperature and light conditions, but without direct exposure to sunlight. As carnivores, their diet mainly consists of protein from animals, along with fats, 
vitamins, and essential minerals necessary for their growth and health. The process of preparing food for minks is crucial. After the ingredients are processed and blended to create the desired formula, the next step is grinding and then using specialized equipment to compress and shape the food into individual blocks. Minks are fed according to a schedule and balanced diet, providing the right amount of nutrients and energy needed. Typically, minks are fed two to three times a day, and the amount of food is adjusted based on the age, size, and specific needs of each mink. During the development process, they'll be vaccinated at around 10 weeks old. By August, their fur will begin to grow and reach its best state in November or December when it can be harvested. Mink fur is harvested when it reaches the desired size and quality. To minimize pain, factory staff use CO2 gas during harvesting and processing. Minks are transferred into a large container filled with CO2 gas, which quickly renders them unconscious and numb so they no longer feel pain. This is considered a humane measure in the processing process. Next, the minks will be moved to the steps to remove their skins. Here, workers will fix the hind legs of the mink onto prepared equipment and then automatically carry out the mink skin removal operations according to the pre-programmed system. This not only makes the processing process faster and easier, but also ensures the quality of the mink fur. The preliminary processing stage involves removing some unnecessary parts and cleaning the mink fur using various chemicals to completely eliminate any residue and remaining impurities such as solvents, antifungal agents, or emulsifiers. After cleaning, the mink fur is hung upright on straight plastic rods, and workers carefully pull and secure the underside of the fur to ensure it is stretched and positioned correctly. This helps maintain the shape and quality of the mink fur during the drying and subsequent processing. The strategic use of plastic rods provides stability and support for the fur pelts, aiding in their natural drying process.
Experts or fur inspectors carefully examine the fur based on predetermined criteria. Assessing factors such as fur density, length, texture, color, and any defects or wrinkles. The Ming fur must be stored in a controlled environment with appropriate temperature and humidity. This helps prevent the fur from drying out, cracking, or developing mold. The storage temperature for mink fur is typically around 7 to 10 degrees Celsius, with humidity around 50%. A sufficient ventilation system is essential to ensure air circulation and prevent moisture buildup or odors. Handcrafted products made from mink fur carry with them an aura of luxury and uniqueness. Artisans and craftsmen harness the essence of mink fur to create upscale items. Scarves, coats, and dresses made from mink fur are perfect choices for special occasions. The softness and warmth of mink fur lend comfort and sophistication in every detail. Besides fashion, mink fur also becomes a focal point in decorative items such as carpets and pillows, creating an elegant and upscale living space. However, the mink fur industry is currently facing intense criticism. Not only opposed by fashion designers and conscientious consumers, mink farming also poses many risks to society, especially in terms of disease transmission. A case in point is in 2020 when the Asian Commission called for reports on COVID-19 outbreaks on mink farms in many countries. Several cases of virus transmission from minks to humans have been confirmed, raising concerns about community health. Have you ever encountered an impressive corn chopper like this before? Combining advanced technology with extensive storage capacity, the New Holland FX58 Forage Harvester emerges as an essential tool in the realm of harvesting and processing livestock feed. Equipped with an 8-row Kemper header at the front, it swiftly gathers a substantial amount of raw material within a short time frame. The machine's continuous operation capability, coupled with its storage bin, optimizes harvesting efficiency. This generous bin capacity reduces the frequency of halting to process collected material, enhancing productivity and saving time. The intelligent control system adapts operations based on the unique attributes of each material, ensuring maximum efficiency and reduced energy consumption. Have you ever been curious about the tulip bulb harvesting process and the specialized equipment used in it? The combination of the AMAC ZM4 Soil Washer and the Earth Eater Super 2 brings efficiency and quality to tulip bulb harvesting. 
The AMAC ZM4 soil washer is designed to effectively remove soil and debris from tulip bulbs. This process not only protects the bulbs from harmful agents, but also ensures that they are harvested clean and ready for the next stage. The Earth Eater Super 2, another specialized device, precisely and efficiently cuts tulip bulbs. This guarantees that the bulbs are cut to the correct size and prepared for the subsequent processing phase. The synergy between the AMAC ZM4 and Earth Eater Super 2 improves the harvesting process and ensures that tulip bulbs achieve the highest quality before progressing to the production and processing stages. Thanks to the ingenuity of talented engineers, challenging tasks have become significantly easier through advanced equipment. Just imagine how much time it would take for workers to complete their task without the support of machinery. The MDE Globe KRB100 is a unique machine that brings efficiency and precision to tree binding in the forestry and landscaping sectors. Surprisingly, in a short span of about 10 seconds, the machine accomplishes its task. With advanced positioning and binding technology, the MDE Globe KRB100 prevents distortion and damage during transportation and planting. The uniform tree binding process creates a harmonious and aesthetically pleasing landscape. How can you ensure that the trees on your farm can withstand the weather and thrive to their best potential? Utilizing the MDE Globe STS300 tree staking machine is a pivotal step in agriculture and tree cultivation. This machine ensures the precise placement of support stakes, creating optimal conditions for tree growth. Employing advanced technology, the machine accurately positions and stakes the trees, preventing damage during their developmental phase. The machine's swift and efficient operation saves time and effort compared to manual methods, particularly crucial for large-scale tree planting. This device contributes to establishing an ideal environment for tree development thereby enhancing agricultural productivity and product quality. Let's explore the pinnacle of heavy machinery in the world. Does this white excavator look familiar to you? This is the Liebherr R9150B, a powerful and versatile excavator weighing 138 tons, engineered to excel in challenging environments such as construction sites and quarries. With a robust engine and advanced hydraulic system, this excavator optimizes work efficiency and energy conservation. The R9150B's loading and digging capabilities, coupled with its adaptability in mining operations, contribute to enhanced productivity. Its low center of gravity design and sophisticated control system provide stability and ease of operation in rugged terrains. An intelligent maintenance system monitors and maintains the machine's condition, minimizing unproductive downtime. Here we have the CAT 657, a remarkable device with impressive features. 
Powered by a powerful CAT C18 engine, this machine can generate up to 629 horsepower for the gear motor and 473 horsepower for the scraper motor. The efficiency and powerful workability of this machine is especially suitable for large excavation projects. Furthermore, these machines are equipped with a CAT C15 motor for the backhoe, providing efficient power to the digging process. The combination of powerful motors and advanced technology in the scraper system optimizes work efficiency and ensures stability during operation. With its outstanding features and flexible operation, the CAT C57 is not only a powerful tool for earthworks, but also makes a significant contribution to large construction and infrastructure projects. Don't go anywhere because the best part is coming now. Introducing the most extraordinary tractor ever invented. Instead of relying on conventional fuel, the system harnesses the power of steam to start the tractor. This innovation is based on the principle of water vapor transformation between gaseous and liquid states. The process occurs in a complex network of pipes and valves, causing the steam to rapidly condense and create pressure. When the pressure reaches a level sufficient to push the piston or starter of the tractor, creating the initial motion necessary to start the engine. What do you think about this invention? Feel free to share your opinion in the comments section below, because we'd love to hear from you. In the field of agriculture and livestock, dry grass harvesting machines play a pivotal role in optimizing efficiency enhancing productivity, and ensuring the quality of animal feed. The precision and effectiveness in the cutting, turning, and compression process of grass contribute to maintaining high-quality dry grass while minimizing waste and optimizing resource utilization. All of these machines play an incredibly vital role in the livestock industry. They are not just technical tools, they are truly reliable partners for farmers. Their combined efforts optimize every step, from gathering raw materials to processing high-quality animal feed. Beyond being mere machinery, these devices are genuine pillars of support for farmers. Thanks to them, a steady supply of quality feed is readily available for animals, aiding in their growth and resilience. Simultaneously, the use of these machines allows farmers to focus on farm management aspects, creating an efficient and sustainable livestock environment. Geckos are small reptiles famous for their ability to change skin color, which are becoming a booming business in China. With prices reaching up to $600,000 per year, many Chinese farmers are turning to raising chameleons to make a profit.
Loaches have relatively large bodies, with males reaching lengths of 30 to 40 centimeters and weighing around 150 to 300 grams. Females are smaller and, and when well cared for, can live up to 10 years or even 18 years. Their heads are somewhat flattened, triangular in shape, with characteristic brown or golden orange eyes. Their eyes can focus very high when feeding or observing something. They can stare at a spot for hours without blinking or moving away. Especially, loaches can move on any surface, slippery or upright. At the tip of each hair, it divides into many smaller fibers called spatulae, sized in nanometers. Thanks to these spatulae, the gecko can adhere to a flat surface or field through electrostatic interactions. As the gecko climbs walls, the spatulae can alternate between being negatively charged towards the positively charged molecules on the wall surface and vice versa, creating an attractive force between molecules known as van der Waals force. Based on the living habits of geckos, farmers will create a suitable environment for the gecko farm. The materials used to build the enclosures can include bricks, steel mesh, wood or nests, with each enclosure ranging from 2 meters to 2.2 meters in height, 1.2 to 1.5 meters in width and length depending on the farm's area as well as the number of geckos housed within. Similar to other animal farms, gecko farms also focus on selecting breeding stock. Choosing good breeding stock will help the gecko farm grow efficiently, generate high profits, and contribute to the overall development of the gecko farming industry. Please leave number one in the comment section if you feel this reptile isn't scary. Have you ever seen gecko eggs? In the enclosure, there are wooden branches and logs for geckos to grow and lay eggs. Farmers will start releasing geckos near reproductive age so they can get used to the new environment. In winter, when the temperature drops below 20 degrees Celsius, geckos go into hibernation. As spring arrives and the weather warms up, geckos begin to seek companionship. When geckos reach 6 months of age and weigh about 50 to 60 grams or more, they start laying eggs. Gecko eggs are gathered to form a large egg nest. Each time a gecko lays eggs, it lays 2 to 3 eggs. The eggs are coated with a sticky substance to help them adhere tightly to the prepared wooden branches. The eggshells gradually harden a few hours after being laid 
and hatch after about three months. In nature, young geckos typically live in the same nest as their parents, only moving to a new nest when the old one becomes too crowded. To ensure optimal growth and high economic value, farms need to master breeding techniques to achieve the highest level of success. In terms of nutrition, farm owners will feed geckos on a scheduled basis for easier care, providing them with two meals a day. Since geckos have a habit of hunting at night, they can be fed in the evening and early morning. The favorite food of geckos is crickets, so on the farm they'll incorporate cricket farming models to provide a convenient food source for geckos. During the growth stage, geckos can consume up to 20 crickets at a time. When selecting food for geckos, choose appropriately sized prey or cut insects into small pieces for easy digestion and to prevent blockages. This not only ensures food quality, but also saves costs in the nurturing process. During the gecko rearing process, to prevent bacteria from the gecko's food, Breeders should avoid feeding geckos certain types of prey, such as worms, spiders, or cockroaches. Additionally, breeders may provide dried fish and shrimp as daily food for geckos to ensure their optimal growth and development. After approximately 12 months of breeding, they can be harvested. Following the harvest, geckos can be sold to traders. Geckos can be processed in various ways, depending on their intended use. Geckos are not only a source of nutrition, but also considered a traditional remedy in Chinese folk medicine. The meticulous process of preparing dried geckos aims to preserve all the valuable nutrients and essence, highlighting their medicinal properties. When dried geckos are used in treating asthma, each piece is not just a part of the therapy, but also a symbol of hope and health. The natural components in dried geckos help soothe asthma symptoms, reduce coughing, and enhance the body's immunity. That's the power of dried geckos. Additionally, after processing, geckos can also be soaked in alcohol, which is also very nutritious.
Today, geckos can be processed into various delicious and nutritious dishes. If you want to use fresh geckos, clean the outer skin, remove the four legs, internal organs, rinse thoroughly, and prepare dishes such as skewers, grills, or soups. In addition to using geckos for food processing and medicinal purposes, many animal enthusiasts also keep geckos as ornamental pets, adding a unique focal point to their living space. Don't go anywhere yet! Just sit back and relax, and we'll delve into a facility that breeds and cares for leeches for both medical and commercial purposes in China. Leeches have been used for medical purposes for centuries, and traditional Chinese medicine has long recognized their healing benefits. Their price is extremely high, around 800 Chinese yuan, equivalent to $111.13 per 2.2 pounds. This industry brings in approximately $555,671 annually for farmers. Have you noticed the excitement and uniqueness of this vehicle? With the ability to lift to 180 degrees and operate on railways and roads, this vehicle is truly a unique engineering feat, combining flexibility and stability. Its capabilities extend beyond railway operations, as it excels in all types of terrain, including those in categories 9B and 9C. With a weight of 7.5 tons and a skip with a capacity of up to 5.6 cubic meters, this vehicle belongs to a distinct class. Its payload capacity of up to 10 tons makes it an indispensable multi-tool in agriculture and construction, offering numerous exciting opportunities for your projects and tasks. This Liebherr T284 is a top-notch mining truck, demonstrating the sophistication and robustness of contemporary technology in the mining industry. With a powerful material handling capacity of 100 tons, this massive machine is ideal for large-scale mining operations. It possesses outstanding power and agility on various terrains, from challenging routes to harsh mining environments. The Liebherr T284 is more than just a mining truck. It symbolizes progress in the mining industry. Its power, efficiency, and durability combination have made it the top choice for large-scale mining projects worldwide. The Long Reach Excavator is designed to handle specialized tasks and is commonly used for slope cutting and placing seawall stones in coastal reclamation and seawall projects. With its impressive reach and lifting capabilities, this excavator enables the execution of challenging tasks in the construction environment. 
Crafted by leading experts and engineers, the 270-ton long-reach excavator is an icon of progress in the construction machinery industry. It boasts powerful operation capabilities and serves as evidence of innovation and creativity in handling large-scale construction projects. Tasks like these often demand flexibility and long-reaching capabilities, which is precisely why the long-reach excavator is the perfect choice. Its extended arm can access challenging and remote areas that conventional excavators just cannot reach. A 60-foot long-reach excavator is typically used in projects that require flexibility and long-reaching capabilities. For instance, it can be employed in excavating soil for public construction projects, cleaning and maintaining drainage systems, or even excavating rivers, canals, or reservoirs. Let's continue our journey of exploring unique concrete mixers in the next part. DHE L4700, an incredibly impressive machine with the perfect combination of remarkable features. Equipped with a powerful Kubota engine with a maximum output of 85 kilowatts or 114 horsepower, this vehicle possesses outstanding power for efficient transportation and concrete mixing. The maximum speed of the truck mixer DGL4700 is 27 kilometers an hour, allowing for swift movement between construction sites without delaying progress. The ID gearbox ensures flexibility and ease of control during operation. This vehicle is equipped with a three-way concrete discharge and a standard self-loading shovel, ensuring that the concrete mixing process occurs efficiently and consistently. With a drum capacity of up to 4,700 liters and a concrete mixing capacity of up to 3,500 liters, the truck mixer DTL4700 can handle a large amount of concrete on each trip, meeting the needs of large-scale construction projects that demand high-quality results. Before you is the DBM Truck Mixers, a notable product from the Merlot Company. Created with top-notch versatility and ease of use, this machine showcases innovation in the industry. With a reasonable price of approximately 12,000 euros, it's the ideal choice to kickstart your construction and project endeavors. DBM truck mixers are genuinely flexible, capable of working anywhere and anytime. The cabin of the vehicle is designed with simplicity, featuring a 180-degree opening capability, 180-degree swiveling seats, and rear-mounted controls, providing convenient driving conditions alongside the mixer drum. This ensures comfort during loading and unloading, guaranteeing work efficiency and comfort for the operator. The Mechalac 15 MWR is one of the leading multi-purpose wheel excavators on the market, known for its versatility and versatility 
With its smart design and multi-function capabilities, this machine can perform a variety of tasks in the construction and engineering industry. With 360-degree rotation, the Mechlac 15 MWR allows easy access to hard-to-reach locations. This makes it an ideal tool for digging, material handling, and even mixing concrete on construction sites. Its ability to move quickly on the road and operate on a variety of terrain makes it a versatile choice for construction and engineering projects. Furthermore, its integrated fuel-saving technology helps reduce environmental impact and operating costs. Breaking concrete for removal is a challenging task that demands precision and power, and the T8600 is ready to meet that challenge. Equipped with a high-performance hydraulic system and a powerful hammer attachment, this outstanding machine delivers crushing force capable of easily shattering even the toughest concrete structures. Its precise control ensures that concrete is broken precisely where needed, minimizing collateral damage and making the demolition process safer and more manageable. Whether it's demolishing a concrete foundation, breaking up pavement, or removing old structures, the T8600 shines as a reliable partner in these endeavors. The combinations of impressive machinery or equipment always brings remarkable efficiency. The JCB Fast Track 4220, with its powerful engine and flexibility, leads the way in towing and moving hay baling equipment. Its strong engine generates enough pulling power to ensure both machines operate smoothly and steadily across various agricultural terrains. On the other hand, the New Holland Big Baler 1290 Plus is a high quality hay baler. Its compression and wrapping capabilities help preserve the quality of agricultural products. When combined with the JCB Fast Track 4220, the process of baling hay becomes simpler than ever. This combination not only optimizes efficiency in the dry hay baling process, but also ensures that the final product achieves the highest quality, serving the needs of the agriculture industry exceptionally well. Livestock feed processing equipment plays an indispensable role in agriculture and animal husbandry, ensuring abundant and high-quality food for livestock and poultry. Depending on their features and sizes, these devices play a crucial role in cutting, grinding, and cleaning grass and crops to transform them into suitable animal feed. They not only help ensure that livestock receive the necessary nutrients, but also contribute to high quality agricultural and livestock production, meeting market demands.
If you're looking for an efficient liquid fertilizer application device for your farm, then the Ploger AT4103 LNMS is worth considering. This machine is designed to pump and distribute liquid fertilizer uniformly and accurately, ensuring that your crops receive the right amount of nutrients needed for robust growth and optimal productivity. The Ploger AT4103 LNMS can be a reliable partner in enhancing your agricultural performance and ensuring that you're investing in providing optimal nutrition for your crops. Are these unique farm enclosures surprising to you? It might sound unbelievable, but this is actually a unique and effective farming method being implemented in many Asian countries such as China, the Philippines, and Vietnam, where the poultry farming industry is booming. This model utilizes the mountainous terrain to construct multi-tiered farm enclosures. First, let's explore the process of caring for the young chicks. Caring for chicks on the mountainside requires careful attention and creativity. Firstly, selecting a safe location to build protective enclosures is crucial. This helps protect the chicks from the risk of falling and other dangers, ensuring a safe and comfortable environment for their development. Nutritious food is provided from natural sources such as grass, leaves, insects, and seeds. At the same time, protecting them from harsh weather conditions is also crucial. Therefore, careful consideration should be given to the design of the enclosures, ensuring that they can withstand harsh weather elements. With rugged and diverse mountainous terrain, the mountainous regions provide a vibrant and rich environment for poultry farming. Deep valleys and steep mountain slopes contribute to the diversity of farming areas. Please leave number one if you're interested in this model of raising chickens in the mountains. While the mountainous poultry farming model brings many benefits, it cannot avoid challenges, especially from predatory animals such as foxes and eagles. Do you supplement your chicken's diet with this type of greens on your farm? I've been told that at this poultry farm, farmers don't use any synthetic chemicals, antibiotics, or genetically modified compounds for their flock. Instead, they employ natural methods for disease prevention and treatment in the chickens. Have you ever wondered why they came up with this idea? It's truly an expression of ingenious creativity. Utilizing this terrain has brought about unexpected efficiency. Instead of investing a large amount of capital to build barns, farmers can save costs by using these rock caves as shelters for their chickens.
Compared to other modern chicken farming methods, this approach doesn't require a lot of money to build coops. You just need to utilize your land to create an ideal environment for your flock. Free-range meat, raised by this method, is renowned for its delicious, distinctive flavor and superior quality. The clear distinction between free-range and farm-raised chicken in modern farms is their tenderness and rich flavor. Attributed to their natural upbringing without any artificial stimulants, This creates a significant difference in taste and culinary experience, making free-range chicken a preferred choice for those who appreciate natural flavors. Next, let's delve into the process of raising and caring for modern chicken farms. With large-scale operations, millions of chicks are transferred to enclosed facilities after hatching for health checks and vaccinations. Here, advanced technology is employed to accurately and modernly assess the health status of each chick. Chickens that meet the standards will be marked automatically and delicately ensuring their quality and safety for optimal development. Currently in the United States, there are approximately 233,770 chicken farms, with billions of chickens being released each year. The feed for chickens on these farms mainly consists of corn, soybeans, and various mixed feeds, providing a diverse and balanced nutritional regimen for the flock. With the advancement in modern technology and advanced equipment at mechanized farms, the use of nipple drinkers for water supply is widespread. Particularly in mechanized poultry farms, this practice has become more common than ever before. Not only does it enhance efficiency in providing water to the flock, but it also minimizes incidents and saves time for caretakers. Have you ever been curious about how farms handle the chicken manure and maintain cleanliness in the coop daily? One common solution is to use a conveyor belt system to transport chicken manure out of the coop and dispose of it outside the farm every day. Please comment number one to let me know that you'll be with us until the end of this video. For commercially raised chicken breeds, the harvesting time is usually shorter compared to free range farms. These farms are often designed to meet large-scale production and consumption demands while ensuring the quality of chicken products. Once the chickens reach the appropriate age and weight, 
they are transported to large processing plants to undergo the meat production process. This is what's happening inside a chicken processing plant, where about three and a half million chickens are processed daily. At this plant, millions of chickens are hung upside down and move along the conveyor belt. Before entering the feather removal stage, the chickens are dipped in boiling water. Specialized equipment then efficiently and quickly remove the chicken feathers in just 30 seconds, followed by the removal of the chicken feet. Then the chicken organs will also be cleaned. The chickens will then be placed in a salt water bath for a few minutes to clean them. This not only ensures the cleanliness of the product, but also enhances efficiency and meets standards in the production process, from farming to harvesting and processing the final product. Chicken meat is the most popular food globally, providing richness and diversity in cuisine. From favorite dishes to traditional meals, chicken meat is widely cherished and utilized across various cultures, imparting unique flavors to each dish. In recent years, the poultry meat production and export industry has become one of the largest economic sectors globally. Large-scale poultry processing plants worldwide play a crucial role in driving the growth of this industry. Besides creating employment opportunities and fostering economic development, they also contribute to providing safe and high-quality food for millions of people worldwide. Join me in exploring the 10-lane GeoSort Apple Sorting and Packaging line, a perfect blend of high-performance and eco-friendliness. GeoSort not only ensures precise sorting through its internal measurement systems and quality check modules, IQS and IFA, but also utilizes high-speed infrared imaging to assess internal fruit quality. This delivers reliability and the ability to analyze the overall fruit quality flawlessly. The VTRAC2 18-row transplanter looks like a mobile factory. With the FastBlock Transplanter module, six rows of Ferrari machines can transplant up to 8 meters wide with a maximum capacity of 130,000 plants an hour. V-Track is suitable for transplanting celery, lettuce, and other vegetables. Trimble RTK GPS Autopilot system is used for automatic raster planting. The VTRAC platform can store 12 to 16 pallets during implementation. It is equipped with a unique automated logistics system to transport trays to and from the growing area. After separating the 18-row planter and the hydraulically folding VTRAC, the complete assembly can be transported on two semi-trailers. A unique vehicle, invented by an Indian individual, allows you to climb tall coconut trees, reaching a height of dozens of meters in just 30 seconds. With a tree-hugging design, featuring a smoothly adjustable vertical shaft, controlled by an easily operated throttle and brake, it resembles a genuine tree climber. Do you want to climb trees easily without much effort?
No need to use a tractor. Apply the mulch by hand quickly and effectively. Fully adjustable to suit a variety of bed widths and mulch sizes. The mulch is run by hand. Two people are required to operate and works best when pulled at a steady walking pace. Do you want to own this special device? Eco leads the way in grass management. Available in single, double, or multiple rows, it will trim grass around and between each plant. The grass cutting components are attached to the toolbar. Each device has an independent suspension system to compensate for weight differences between operators, allowing them to trim up to six rows per day depending on spacing. Effectiveness has been demonstrated in removing 99% of visible weeds. This minimizes the use of herbicides, promoting environmental protection. Through a unique operating mechanism, we have developed a method to harvest naturally juicy oranges. These oranges drop into a sheet below, and as they fall, the sheet gathers them and directs them into a storage container. This is a simple yet highly effective harvesting technique, ensuring a 100% yield. Keep watching until the end of the video to discover more fascinating machines awaiting you. Next, let's take a look at an incredibly useful invention. A device designed specifically for harvesting wheat and automatically dividing it into small bundles. Its compact design allows us to accomplish this task simply by pushing the vehicle effortlessly. Ropa Tiger 6S and Homer Teradose T440 are two leading machines in the field of automated root vegetable harvesting. With their outstanding designs, powerful performance, cutting blades, and flexible conveyor systems, they stand out. Advanced control systems ensure precise and efficient harvesting processes, saving time, labor, and delivering high productivity with excellent product quality. If you had to choose between these two machines, which one would you prefer? There's no denying that moving such large tree stumps by hand is a strenuous task. But don't worry, the Savannah Model 1720 Tree Stump Puller will help you efficiently address this issue. With a special design featuring two continuously rotating V-shaped plow wheels near the ground, it allows you to pull tree stumps with ease. The machine's optimal pulling speed ranges from 4.8 to 7.2 kilometers an hour. In terms of job output, the Model 1720 can produce from 1 to 1.6 hectares per hour. This means the machine can haul 25 acres per day, compared to conventional excavator methods of pulling similarly sized stumps that take up to 4 to 5 minutes per stump. AVR Link's Onion Harvester holds a unique position in the market. This two-row harvester can be used both in-line and outside the machine. 
It offers three cleaning options, belt pin, vario web, and cross rollers, all hydraulically driven. Lynx has wide tires, ensuring low ground pressure and easy machine maneuverability, even in challenging conditions. Eliminating ridge damage is a notable improvement as the machine no longer passes across them. The harvesting process is enhanced by AVR's distinctive digging unit, featuring a comprehensive intake, large capacity suction rollers, and plastic Diablos. The depth setting can be easily adjusted via a simple rotary axis on the screen. With its default automatic steering, driving is entirely taken care of, ensuring perfect control and operation of the machine. And here is the Baby Leaf TerraTech Leaf Harvester, designed to pick lettuce, salad greens, spinach, etc. The 120 cm wide cutting bar cuts all vegetables cleanly and accurately. The cutting bar and pickup roll height can be easily adjusted to suit the height of the vegetable, strip and cutting height. This harvester is popular because of its compact design, simple to use, convenient, and allows you to quickly complete your work. Can you guess the name of this machine? It's a working device for tilling the soil around the base of the crops. Thanks to its specially shaped bar, it can flexibly adapt to various types of crops and different row spacings. With a design featuring cross-set sawtooth discs that hug the plant stem closely, this machine continuously rotates, ensuring uniform soil tillage without affecting the crops. Unique inventions that we cannot imagine before, such as automatically uprooting crops from the soil, using nylon bags to cover the surface, or a vehicle that deals with wild grass by fire, and even a vehicle with the ability to easily move an entire pigsty. Each of these devices has its own unique practicality. Do you find these inventions fascinating? If you want to learn more about these devices, don't hesitate to leave your questions in the comments section below. The CRP 4x4 2 Dual Row Tomato Harvester is a robust, reliable machine that achieves the pinnacle of safety and performance in the agricultural industry. Equipped with a powerful engine with up to 255 horsepower, it ensures higher efficiency and requires less maintenance. The machine allows for the adjustment of the cutting system's height to harvest tomatoes at different levels on the plant, catering to your needs. The cutting system of the machine, developed and manufactured by Technoagri Macquinaria, has proven to operate reliably in the toughest conditions. The CRP 4x42 has the ability to collect and store tomatoes after harvesting, ensuring cleanliness during the work process. It's the perfect combination of advanced technology and durability, helping you achieve optimal performance in tomato harvesting.
a powerful and versatile agricultural equipment, specially designed for soil tillage and land preparation for planting. The Rome TRCW24 Wheel Disc Haro is equipped with a robust engine ranging from 450 to 600 horsepower, featuring a sturdy and highly durable design. Its large wheel disc efficiently and uniformly till the soil. The Rome TRCW24 allows for depth and angle adjustment of the wheel discs, enabling you to customize the tilling process to suit specific crops and terrain. This machine finds diverse applications in agriculture, including pre-planting soil tillage, land preparation for irrigation systems, and many other purposes. A scroll sprinkler is a type of smart irrigation machine that uses water pressure to drive the water turbine wheel to rotate. With a powerful motor with a capacity of up to 15 kilowatts, this machine offers many impressive advantages. With a flexible design, roll type sprinklers can easily be moved from one location to another, helping to save time and effort on watering. This machine is designed with ease of use as its outstanding advantage, allowing users to operate it conveniently without the need for in-depth knowledge. With just one investment, scroll-type sprinklers have an average lifespan of over 15 years, and the associated PE pipe also has a lifespan of over 10 years, ensuring long-term performance and sustainable investment value. The Cordo 3150F grass cutter offers optimal cutting performance, allowing for fast and uniform grass cutting, ensuring that you can efficiently complete your cutting task and save time. It allows for height and angle adjustments, enabling customization of the cutting process to suit the type of grass and your specific terrain. With its ability to provide high output grass cutting, the Cordo 3150F saves time and effort. This is especially important when dealing with a large expanse of grassland. The Cordo 3150F is a high quality grass cutter, specially designed to meet the needs of maintaining grasslands and livestock feed production. The emphasis on quality ensures that you have high quality feed for your livestock. Take a look at the Ferrari Futura, a fully automated vegetable planting machine. The machine operates independently, requiring only one operator to load trays for the planting robot. Each robot transplants seedlings using technology based on a cylindrical plunger combined with a moving finger. Then the seedlings are gripped by mobile clamps and placed into the distribution system. Without the need for specific trays to operate, the machine adapts to the trays chosen by the user. This is one of the features that makes the Ferrari automated planting machine a highly innovative and flexible piece of equipment. This is our channel. This is the channel manager. This is the video editor. And this is the content creator.